If you want that once in a lifetime experience, we'd welcome you to come to Meridian Farms East in beautiful Melton PEI. You'll learn all about the standard bred racehorse and I know you'll go away extremely happy. Uh, we have a very nice facility and uh, we welcome uh, all visitors. Uh, anyone that wants to see a horse and learn about standard bred horses is welcome to come to Meridian Farms. We'll give you the grand tour and uh, when you leave I'm sure you'll have a little more knowledge and uh, hopefully the love for the standard bred. PEI in particular has always had a tradition with harness racing and you, can, you could not go through any community in PEI and not see a standard bred racehorse. And, and they, they passed it down to the next generation and if you get in a community it's, it's like a community thing, it's a small rivalry in a community. You know it's a, it was a fun thing, uh, you'd have a horse, I'd have a horse and we'd race on the ice or we might, even, we might even try to pass one another going to church or something like that. Eh? I mean, uh, ho horses were a big thing. They, it started out as a, you know, a, largely as a mode of transportation here to get from A to B, and then, and then they started racing them in a small scale as a fun thing, and it's continued on into a business today. So it, it is a, it's, it's very strong culture here, no question about it. If they come here, I'm going to give them the tour, a tour of the facility, and they'll see see all kinds of horses and I'll, and I'll basically tell them about anything they want to know. I'll give them, I'll tell them about our brood mares and uh, how long it takes to have a foal and, and uh, the experience of foaling. I'll tell you about raising a yearling. I'll tell you about uh, breaking, breaking a horse to become a, a race horse. Uh, we have a half mile track here and uh, as you go, I'll, I'll field all questions as well. And, and you know, some of them have a lot of questions. Some of them know absolutely nothing, but some of them have read and they, and they know something. So, I mean, you have a wide range of people and uh, we'll, we'll hook up a horse and we'll jog it. And if they want to sit on a cart, they can sit on a cart. He's called PEI. See the side of him? Oh, wow. <laughs> He raced and then uh, stopped racing and now he's a stallion. Benvolio Hanover. I call him Ben. So my brother is the chief namer and he names them after former racehorses that my grandfather might have raced 40 years ago. He names them after Rhodes and PEI. A, a horse called Marching Band out of Marching Orders. North Shore. I mean, our, 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 most of our beaches are on the North Shore here, so the, he's got that. He's got Texas Star. Ben Yon, we, uh, my father was in the Air Force and lived in, uh, in Sydney. And that was a nice community outside of Sydney, so he's called one Ben Yon. Your foals all have to be freeze branded, which means uh, they all have a tattoo on their neck. And you have to take a DNA, a hair sample from them as well. And these, you can tell that they're friendly because we're around them a lot. We handle them a lot. We, you know, so you're not going to find too many that aren't reasonably friendly. Those two there will just go right into your pocket. You can grab them and take them home with you. Behaving himself. He's behaving himself. <laughs>